Choose that doors, we're at Busselton, about two and a half hours south of Perth on the Swan Dive boat, going out to the Swan Wreck, diving with Swan Dive. And our skipper today is Dean. We've got Big Juice and Jason with me, and a heap of other people, I don't know who they are. All right, let's get wet. Seven, so well, just over 26 years. Uh, it's 112 metres long, 12.5 metres wide, and it's 20 metres tall. It sits on a sandy bottom in 30 metres. So the top of the crow's nest is about 10 metres from the top. Orange can out to the left here marks the bow of the ship. The yellow stick you can see in front of us is just behind the midships. And there's a white bloke off to the right there which is on the stern of the ship. So I'll put the camera on the coat. Okay, our mooring line attaches right under the crow's nest. Alright, so when you descend, you Giants right off the stern here, so a bit of airing your BC, right hand over your mask and rig. Giant stride, wait for the rest of your group on the, the mermaid line. Make your way to the bow, to the mooring line. Follow the, imagine the mooring line's a tree with a branch on it. If you follow the tree trunk all the way to the bottom, you're going to get to the mooring. It's really interesting, but it's not as interesting as the ship. What you want to do is get to the, the branch, follow the trunk to the branch, follow the branch to the ship. Okay? You'll see that you'll be able to tell the, you know you're on the right way because the, the branch is actually an orange pot rope. So it's a heavy line attached to a bit of orange pot rope, then you'll, you'll know you're on the right track. Um, so that'll be, that'll attach to the wreck just under the crow's nest, so almost right in the middle of the ship. So you'll be able to get down there and work out which way you want to go. Bow or stern first. Um, we ask you to get back on board the ship, uh, back on board the boat with 50 bar in your tank. Okay, so if you're going to go to 30 metres, watch your air consumption because it'll sneak up on you pretty quick. Um, also, watch your no air compression limit. You, sh you should all have computers and know how to work them. I usually try and keep five minutes at least on my NDL. Um, it doesn't mean if you get to five minutes, it doesn't mean the end of your dive. Just come up a bit and continue, you know, happily on your way. If you get separated from your buddy or your group, stop and wait for one minute, look around. If you don't find them, make your way to the crow's nest, stop and wait for one minute. If you don't find them, make your way back up the, up the, the branch to the mooring line and, 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 and back on the, on the boat. No one, we, we very rarely get anyone coming back to the boat by themselves. I nearly always find their group, their buddy or another group or buddy. There's only one boat here today, so whoever you buddy up with is going to be coming back to us.
outdoors. First dive in the Swan. We had a uh, school of glowfish, which I've seen one here and there, but never a school of them, so it was pretty cool. Um, the cuttlefish in the middle of the Swan was pretty cool as well. All right, let's leave the second dive.